Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking directly to people looking to join the military. We're going to go through the three non-negotiables that you need to have ready before you join. Number one, and the one that people think of straight away when we talk about the military, is physical fitness. You need to make sure that you are physically able, physically ready to meet the demands that are going to be imposed upon you in your basic training. Different regiments, different services will have different requirements and different levels of fitness that you'll need to acquire. I always like to get our members above the standard so that when they go in and they're sleep deprived and you know they're stressed and they've got a million other things going in their mind, they're not worrying about their physical fitness because they know that they've reached above the standards already. And I think that's a really important mindset to have when you go into the military. Rather than sort of thinking, oh, I can blag a beat test and I can get through press ups and sit ups and you know, I'll cuff it, I'll be all right. Really spend the time before you join getting those things nailed, getting on top of all those things so that when you are in that situation where you're stressed and all that sort of stuff, you haven't got that extra burden of thinking, crap, you know, my, my fitness is rubbish. All right, number two, mental preparation. Some people get, aren't really sure how to get mentally prepared, but it can be really, really simple. It can be waking up earlier than normal. Say if you wake up at 8 a.m. every morning, right? You know that in the military you're going to be getting up at probably 5 a.m., half five, something like that. So start establishing those habits early on. As soon as you wake up, try and get a run under your belt or try and get some exercise under your belt because you're going to be doing that in basic training. You're going to be getting up at some crazy hour, straight into physical exercise, cold, pee wet through and all that and they're going to expect you to perform and deliver. So getting out outside, getting into rough terrains, getting out into the you know all sorts of different um, in inclement weathers, getting on the hills, you know every Saturday take a couple of friends, go up some mountains or, or get out in, you know go and do some uh, skinny dipping or whatever, and um, just start establishing those habits that are going to get you prepared for military life. Look at the service you're joining, think to yourself right what is going to be required in my basic training. And start trying to implement some of those things in your uh, in your lifestyle. Another one is being organised within that mindset. So you know the night before, making sure all your kits prepped for the next day. Whether you're at school or you've got work or uni or whatever it is, start thinking one step ahead of it, so that you're not reactive but that you're proactive and you're taking that mindset into the military. I think one of the biggest things that I struggled with is is sort of like my time was always my own. You know, I'd finish work and then I could, you know, go to the gym, I could chill, I could do whatever. All of a sudden I was on someone else's schedule at their times when they wanted me, right time, right place, right rig, right attitude. And that sort of threw me off. I was only sort of 19, didn't have massive structure in my life. So the more structure you can put in place now, the better it will be for, for military life. Also putting yourself in stressful environments and situations, you know, maybe it's... Um, Maybe it's joining a new gym or joining a boxing class or something like that where it puts you out of your comfort zone. What can you do to put yourself out of your comfort zone? Because going into the military, the, the comfort zone, you know, the, the stress is going to go like that in your life. So the more you can sort of adjust to stress and adapt to stress, the better you'll be as a recruit joining the military. Number three, gear, supplies and knowledge. One big thing that we, we don't utilise when we're looking to join the military is, is actually seeking the advice of those who've been there and done that. Look around your local, local area, do your friends have anyone, do they know anyone who joined the military, do your parents know anyone? Start gleaning information, especially on a, on a chosen service. Say if I was joining uh, the engineers, I'd, I'd seek out people who had been in the engineers or were in or are in the engineers and I'd be asking them advice, you know, preparation te techniques and you know what I need to be doing to make sure I'm the best candidate possible. It's such an easy win just to get a bit of advice from people who've been there and done that and it could they might give you one or two golden nuggets that absolutely transform your career or transform your basic training. You're going to get a kit list, make sure that you absolutely adhere to it, don't be scrambling around the morning of going down to, to your basic training, make sure that you, you've got it a week in advance, go over all your kit, label all your kit with your names, make sure you're proper squared away. You want to go there and, and be over prepared rather than like flip I haven't got a brush for my boots or something silly like that make sure you've got you know a nice uh, suit when you go down there ironed and don't be rocking up in trackies or anything like that at, at school you've always got the geeky kids who are like proper prepared they've done their homework on time they've got a good pencil case full of supplies and 
they turn up early and they get a bit mocked for it sometimes but actually they're going to be the best recruits they're going to be the recruits that stand out they're going to be the ones who actually go on and you know the the training teams look at them and go like freaking good effort that because being a soldier or being in the military is all about diligence it's all about being disciplined and focused and and organized those things go a long way within military service a final sort of bonus tip for basic training always be proactive always be willing to help always put yourself forward volunteer for things make the training team think this guy wants to be here this person you know they're digging out blind there's someone i want to serve with in six months or t a year's time you might end up being frontline with your, uh, your your training team they want to go yeah, I can, I can stand next to that person, I can trust them because ultimately their life might be in your hands. So hopefully those, uh, those three tips and a few of the bonuses help you on your way to uh, getting into your chosen service. Always here for any uh, messages that you need. You can find us on Instagram at Complete Commando. We also have fitness programs that get you ready uh, for military life and uh, everything that comes with it. So yeah, cheers guys and uh, go and smash your training. Okay, now you now you can do whatever you want, darling. <laughs>